In this mini tutorial, we are going to learn what is API in simple and easy to understand manner. So API stands for Application Programming Interface and it is a way for two programs communicate with each other. Let's understand this with the example. So here is a restaurant and imagine we are sitting on table 1 and we want to order some food. In this case, what will we do? We cannot directly go to the kitchen and order our food to chef. Instead of that, we will call waiter. Waiter will take our order and then give it to the kitchen. After that, kitchen start process of our order and give food to the waiter. And then waiter will deliver our food to our table. So here, waiter is like messenger who takes one request and pass that request to our destination which is kitchen and then it will get the reply message from the destination and bring back to us with that response. So this table 1 on which we are sitting is our application frontend. Basically what we will see on our browser. Now suppose we want to get some data about clothes. So we will call API which is our waiter and send request to it. Now API will transfer that request to the server or database which is our kitchen and that server or database will return the response which is the data we want and API deliver that response data to our frontend. So now you understand what is API. API is a way for two programs communicate with each other. Let me explain you with another real world example. So you probably visit a website which book the flight tickets or train tickets, right? So in that application, let's say Emirates, we write our departure city, let's say London and place to reach, let's say Mumbai and we enter our dates, type of seat and we search the flights and it will display these details for flights. That's possible because of API. We will call API and that API will get this data from server and give us this data. Simple as that. Now here is the one thing. As we are using this Emirate site, we are only getting the flight details of Emirate flights. But there are some websites on which you search flight details and they will return the multiple flights with multiple airline companies. How is that possible? So many companies launch their API to public usage. And we will call that API as public API. And by using these public APIs, we can access their data. Now as their data is open publicly, company has to use some protection. And for protection, many public API has its API key. So when our frontend send request to that public API, frontend needs to send API key with that request. After that, API will pass that request to server and before taking the request, server asks for API key to access the data. So our API pass our API key to the server, server verify that key. If it is authentic, only then server will return data, otherwise server returns error access denied. Simple as that. Now you might ask how we can get API key if we want to access public API. So for getting the API key, we have to register on their website which company providing the API and they will send us API key. So I hope you understand what is API. And by the way, currently I am working on Git and GitHub course in which I will explain Git from scratch and I will cover all topics in Git in very easy to understand language. If you are interested to get that course for completely free, then first 100 students register with their email. They will get this course completely free when I publish. So quickly register for that course and also you can share that form with your friends. Link is down in the description. If you have any doubts, then you can ask me in the comment section. I love to read your comments. And thank you so much for your all love and support. We just completed 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. Take care and I will see your smiling faces 
in the next video.